How do you boost mitochondria and how do you maintain them at higher levels? That's a complicated question because mitochondria are related to aging. So um, a couple ways to increase your mitochondrial efficiency is to exercise uh, just below your anaerobic threshold. For most people, this is exercising with the ability to hold a conversation, but with some exercise. So uh, maintaining that 40, 45 minutes will increase your mitochondria. You also have mitochondria in what's called a fast twitch fiber, which we lose as we age. So really rapid exercising. So not just exercising, going through the motions, but really rapidly moving things like jumping jacks. And these are our stability fast twitch fibers, which we lose as we age, which is why we become a fall risk because we don't have those fast twitch responses. So exercise is key in mitochondrial um, efficiency, number and function of mitochondria. There's also ways to feed the mitochondria. So you can use things like any NAD precursors. You can use nicotinamide riboside, NR, NMN, <coughs> CoQ10 is helpful. Um, also uh, things like Anato GG, um, then not poisoning them with things like antibiotics. Mitochondria are very susceptible to antibiotic use, so the more antibiotics you use, the more damaging you're doing to your mitochondria. Great sleep for repair. There's periods you could do fasting, so times of fasting help them repair. Um, avoid free radical damage. Free radical damage damages the DNA of the mitochondria. What is free, what are free radicals? Like when you either overtraining or oxidative stress or toxic chemicals or anything that can, that's a whole other topic. So, um, but anything that can damage your DNA can also damage your mitochondria. Blood sugar fluctuations uh, damage your mitochondria, poor sleep damage your mitochondria. So it's a complicated question, but the simple thing is you gotta move. Try and move for about 45 minutes underneath your anaerobic threshold, so where you can hold a conversation. Um, and then do fast twitch movements, so really rapidly exercise, but with a weight that you cannot injure yourself on. You do like jumping jacks or things like that, or jumping rope. They're very important. So movement is key. Efficiency of use of, extra, of oxygen. So that's why we say being able to hold a conversation so you're not in anaerobic uh, glycolysis. If you're making too much lactic acid, it's damaging to the mitochondria, but exercising is beneficial to the mitochondria. Uh, and then your supplements or nutritional support that could do that is not eating sugar, um, not spiking your sugar, getting your sleep, and then also things like nicotinamide riboside, um, NMN, CoQ10, PQQ, and AdoGG, NAD precursors, anything that reduces it like alpha lipoic acid. There's a whole host of them. Like we have the, some mitochondrial repair stuff that's a kind of combo stuff at the office.